just getting some of, uh, well, most of the vacuum lines finished up here. Working along here. Nice motor mounts going on. We've got most of the wiring all tidied up over here. Well, not tidied up, but pretty close actually. Hooking up the alternator cable here. And we're going to be running a rewire, which basically this just goes from the positive post of the alternator to the positive post of the fuse panel and allows it to uh, put out some more amperage. So this is just going to go on there. Why don't you tell them what we ended up doing for our belt clearance issue? <laughs> Okay, yeah, so before, so I actually had to order this part on uh, ZZP, it was called um, belt wrap kit. Essentially, it's just like a pulley that attaches to the supercharger itself. And what it does is, well, what it's doing, the main purpose is to make sure it doesn't, the belt doesn't slip off. But right now what it's doing for me is um, it's giving me clearance underneath my coil packs. Because before I had this on there, the belt would just go down and it would, rub on the coil packs there so we were actually thinking about relocating the coil packs but we ended up just using this and it gives us clearance underneath and the belt fits so we didn't even have to get a different size belt yeah so saved us quite the headache and a lot of time yeah so we've got things kind of cleaned up here and we're just gonna see if we have any uh, fitment issues with the hood so, let's close her down Now we'll pop it open and see. Yeah, look, it's kind of... Is it? It's open on that side as well. Oh, yeah. So something is hitting. We have an issue, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's probably just that one thing. This thing. Oh, yeah. That's what I would say. Yeah. Probably. So we're going to have to move it down here a little or something underneath the bar. So we've uh, we've eliminated the problem. We've uh, shoved it way down there. And now we should be able to close the hood. So we ran into a problem, and uh, these fuel lines weren't flared. So we're just flaring the one line now, and then we're gonna flare. The next one here, get it look something like that, and that'll make it uh, seal and fix our fuel leak. So we're just going to sand these burrs off here, so that our collar can slide up because it's blocking us.
So we're gonna do a key on here. We got our fuel lines on and uh, we're gonna see leaks. Leave the leave the key on again, Zach. It's on right now. Yeah, let's just get the fuel going. Fuel system pumping. Looking pretty dry under there. All over. Everything looks pretty good. And that humming you hear is the uh, the coolant pump. It's pretty loud, actually. And yeah, injectors look nice and sealed. Nothing's leaking. It's pretty sweet. Pump's just humming away. My fluid level's good. Sweet. So, everything under here is pretty close to being wrapped up. We do have a few minor things to get done, I guess. We got to, uh, we got to make a line for the brake booster from here to this. We got to go get some antifreeze for it. Um, we got to change the oil. And then we also want to, uh, or I guess Mr. Zach. <laughs> <laughs> wants to paint the front bumper, repaint it. It's looking pretty crusty. So we're going to shine it up. And then from there, we're going to get uh, someone to come put a base tune on it, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I'll have, I'll have the guy come over. Um, actually going to go through player three performance. Uh, he's going to come over. Do a base tune on the car, so plug in his computer, whatever, make it so we can actually start the vehicle, and then, um, and then a couple days after, we're gonna bring it to a dyno and uh, get it properly tuned, and then we're gonna see what kind of numbers she makes. So it'll be exciting. Pray she holds. Mm -hmm.